Well, I've got a little message this morning for Tory MPs and indeed Labour MPs, SNP MPs, Lib Dems, Independents, all the rest of them when they meet in the House of Commons today to discuss the most important business facing this country. Because they're going to meet to discuss not whether or not people can afford to pay their energy bills, not whether or not their mortgages are going to go up by an average of three grand next year if they're coming off a fixed rate mortgage or their rent going sky high because the landlord's forced to put the rent up because their mortgage is going up, not whether they can afford to do their shopping in the supermarket or buy new school uniform uh, for their children, uh, not whether or not they can afford to pay their energy bills. Yes, we've had all that help, but not enough to actually stop those bills pretty much double for most people and staying sky high for years to come. Not whether they've ever got a chance of perhaps affording a holiday, uh, saving up to actually buy their own home if they haven't actually got to that position yet and dealing with all the other issues we've got coming ahead with us in this country. Dealing with crime, uh, dealing with uh, concerns about our children's education, mental health, whether or not they'll actually get that operation on the NHS or not. All the things that are going wrong in a country where an awful lot of us perceive that things just don't work anymore. No, MPs are going to discuss whether or not Boris Johnson should be allowed a Commons pass. That is literally what they are going to spend hours discussing and, who knows, possibly voting on later in the House of Commons. Now, I'm as angry as anyone is. It's not possible to be angrier than I am about uh, Boris Johnson breaking the rules that he imposed on everyone else. And he broke them because he knew perfectly well they weren't necessary, but he did it anyway. I am appalled and furious, shaking with anger to this day about it. But he's stood down as Prime Minister. He's stood down as an MP. He can write as many angry articles and letters as he wants. At the end of the day, he's gone. He's the past. The Privileges Committee had him banged to rights. But let's face it, the punishment of losing his Commons pass as a former Prime Minister is something of a vindictive, petty little punishment, isn't it? But the key thing is, should MPs waste a single moment of their time discussing something that affects just one man as opposed to dealing with all of the other impacts of those terrible policies that have left us in the economic health and education and mental health mess that we're in right now. MPs, please, for the love of God, that in debate should be introduced and it should be ended within five minutes. We want you to discuss the stuff that actually affects us in our day-to-day -day lives, paying the bills, paying the mortgage or the rent, our children getting educated and getting the operations and the health treatment we need. If you are not going to be tackling those issues, frankly, you've got no business being in Parliament yourselves. You should follow Boris Johnson and get booted out the door. That's my message to MPs today.